in this video, we're going to take a look at mirroring geometry. Now, when we first built the crow, we built it with symmetry. So we didn't have a need to actually mirror our geometry over. But in certain circumstances, or even if you just choose to, we may finish half of the model and then need to mirror that geometry over to complete or create the other half. So we're just going to walk through how we go about doing this. First, I'm going to select my model. And it's best if we align our pivot to the edge of our model. And we want to make sure that the edge loop that we're mirroring across is all aligned. And when I say align, what I'm really referring to here is that all of the edges or vertices are in line with each other. And you can see on this particular model, they're all snapped to the Y axis of my world coordinate. We get a nice straight line. So that's all there. So now I'm going to go back, select my object, and I'm going to go to Mesh. And let's open the tool options for mirror geometry. Let's reset our settings just so we go back to default. And now I want to mirror across the appropriate axis. If we look at the model as well as our world coordinate, the two are in alignment right now. The tool is set for the mirror direction in the positive axis. If we look at that world axis, that's going to be this direction here, which means that it's going to take this model and mirror it right over here, not where we need it to be. We want it to be over here. Okay, so that's going to be the opposite there. It's going to be in the negative x. We'll just choose that there. Now, by default, our other options are already selected, but we do want to merge with original, which means that it will take this geometry, duplicate it, and then combine it back with itself. But it will not automatically merge the vertices unless I check this box here. Or we can do connect border edges. Either way, it's going to merge up. With that set, I'm going to choose Mirror, and voila, we get the other half of my model. Now, to check and make sure that the model mirrored properly, I'm going to go into the Attribute Editor, back to Object Mode here, and I want to go to the Shape node. What we can do is turn on Display Borders, and by checking this, it's going to highlight all of my border edges. Now, our mirror worked perfectly and I don't have any border edges. I'm just going to right click, go to face. I'm going to select a face and just delete it. Now with that gone, I can see those border edges. Let's crank this up so that we can just amplify that. Now with a border width of 10, we can really see where those borders are. So if we had any additional borders where the mirror tool did not merge vertices back together, they would show up here, we'd see them, and then we could either undo, redo the tool, or just manually merge vertices together. So it worked fine, so I'm just going to undo that. Now we have another tool here that is not exactly a mirror geometry tool, but in a sense it sort of is, because what it's going to do is just copy the vertex values from one side of the geometry to the other. So if we were modeling, and my model was not perfectly symmetrical, this would allow me to copy certain parts of the geometry over to the other. So we can use this in lots of different instances. Let's say we want the legs to be identical, but we wanted the wings to not be identical. We could just copy faces from the leg and mirror those coordinate positions over to the other side. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm gonna first just select some faces here to break symmetry. Clearly, one wing is different than the other. Now, I want to turn symmetry on. I can do that right here, but we also have a hotkey. If I choose Q and left click, I can then go to symmetry and engage that right there. Now, symmetry is not going to work well because we do not have a perfectly symmetrical model. The next thing I want to do is go to edge, and I'm just going to choose an edge and once again hit Q, Symmetry, and go to Topology. And now that turns on, and you can see I have good symmetry across my geometry. It's using the topology in order to create that symmetry. Now to copy the faces over, I'm going to go to Face. I'll select a bunch of faces here. Go to Mesh, and come down to Symmetrize. 
So we'll click on this and then boom, we've copied our vertices or our face positions from this side of the model over to here.